Hey Lesbian Central, today is Wednesday, you're here with Shayna and I'm filling in for Kai. So first things first, I don't know if you can see it or not, but today I woke up with a rash all over my face. Um, I tried out a new cream last night that I will never be using again, and uh, so yeah, that's why I look like I just got back from a vacation on the sun. So the two topics this week are have we ever felt ashamed of being gay, and how to deal with um, a breakup from somebody who you thought you were going to spend the rest of your life with. So in terms of breaking up with somebody who you thought you were going to spend the rest of your life with, um, I was talking to my friend about this and she said something that was actually pretty smart and she said be devastated for a while. And that's not to say that you should cut everything else out of your life and that you should block the rest of the world uh, from, from your life because uh, you're so incredibly focused on uh, this really shitty situation and these really crappy feelings you're having. But it's also equally important to feel what you're feeling. It's not healthy to push aside and ignore um, the feelings. If you're feeling something, you should feel it all the way through because uh, if you just put it aside and ignore it, then it's never going to get dealt with and it will probably come back and bite you in the ass. So the second topic is have we ever felt ashamed of being gay? And if I'm being completely honest with myself, I think the answer to that question is yes, I have felt ashamed of being gay. Which is weird for me to think about. I'm not even sure that ashamed is the right word for me to use. And the reason why that word is so strange for me to use is because I never thought of being gay and I was never taught that being gay was ever a shameful thing. It's, I, I was never taught uh, that it was something that you should hide or that you should be ashamed about or that it was a bad thing. I was never around any sort of homophobia to speak of, so I'm not even really sure where this um, need to suppress my gayness came from, but I think the reason why I felt this sort of shame or this need to hide it was because I always thought of myself, and I think other people uh, around me, always thought of me as sort of a little different and weird and a little offbeat. And at school, I was sometimes picked on for being a little different. Like, I was never really... I was never quiet, but I was never really outgoing. And I had sort of weird interests, I guess, uh, in the eyes of the teenagers I was surrounded with. Um, I was very politically active from a young age, and I think that sort of weirded some people out. And I had my own specific interests, and I had my own principles. Like, I never, I was never friends with the cool kids, ever. That was just never, ever me. I never liked them, so I was just never friends with them. And I never really had, like, a really big group of friends either. Not until just a few years ago did I really have a big group of friends. I always really had like one really good friend um, throughout most of my childhood. And I think I felt as though I had enough things that were different about me. Um, like I, I did take pride in the fact that I uh, was different and that I had my own sets of values and principles that I lived by, but I still had that sort of natural desire to sort of fit in with my peers or at least fly under the radar and just go unnoticed and unbothered. Being gay would have um, made me feel more different than I was comfortable with feeling. I think the shame was probably less about the sexuality in general, like less about the fact that I was gay, uh, just, just the fact that I was gay, and more about the fact that being gay made me different and that I was not comfortable with um, with feeling that different. And that's why I'm always so incredibly impressed when I hear of uh, people who come out in high school or even in middle school and that they are that sort of self-aware and uh, that confident at such a young age to um, be who they are without worrying about or without letting the hardships that will inevitably come with it um, get in the way of being true to themselves. And I think that's awesome. However, that's not to say that coming out in high school, that people who come out in high school some are somehow, you know, more emotionally intelligent or just more intelligent in general or that there's something sort of superior or better about them. You know, everybody goes better at their different pace and the thing about your sexuality is that it's yours and there's no wrong way to uh, feel about it and there's no wrong way to deal with it. I think maybe a piece of advice that could probably cover both topics is just find things about yourself and find things about others and the world around you that make you happy. If being out and gay is going to make you happy, then do it. Uh, you know, if learning a new language because it's going to distract you from the city shit. 
that's my own language. If learning a new language is going to distract you from the shitty situation that is your crappy breakup, then do that and just be happy. That's most important in life because, as our friend Rihanna says, life's too short to be sitting around miserable. And the second I start quoting Rihanna is the second the camera needs to be turned off. So I will see you guys next time and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. And don't worry, be happy. Alright, I am starting to quote too many songs now. I'm going to go now. Bye guys!